A shot here of Crash and Burn uh, from Saskatchewan, Canada. They'll be going up against uh, Turo Maximus from Brazil. A truly international fight here at Robo Games. Toro Maximus, you see the drum in the front of the robot there. It's a uh, steel drum. The drum alone weighing 70 pounds. And then we were saying how fast it goes. At top speed, it gets up to 10,000 RPM. And the Team Riobots is not afraid to run it that fast. You see the noses of Crash and Burn there are flamethrowers. And we saw those used to deadly effect when Burn was able to pin an opponent. And uh, there's the flame. The opponent was sitting up on, on Burn. And he just melted the electronics inside. Yeah, a it, very deadly combo. Yeah, it's not a huge flame, but it's a controlled flame, a very direct flame. And that's what they used to win their previous fight against Foxic. We're in the winner's bracket. Neither team has lost yet as we begin in three, two, one. Fight! And off! A frontal attack trying to slow down that, that drum. They know how deadly Turo Maximus is, and you can see the power. He's moving great today, though, as the drum begins to turn. Yep, Toro's got the drive going, and now the drum is spinning, but not as fast a spin-up as we're used to seeing out of Toro Maximus. Looks like Toro Maximus is on the run, not wanting to uh, get pinned by either bot, who now collide in the center of the arena. Yeah, Crash and Burn running into each other here. They have to decide at the blink of an eye who's going to go after Toro on offense and who's going to go on defense. They have to work as a finely tuned, coordinated team against their opponent. So far, that spinning drum is not getting up to that 10,000 RPM, which emits in a massive hell as the flames go on! Now, I know this looks like an unfair two against one fight, but each of Crash and Burn only weigh 110 pounds apiece, whereas Toro Maximus weighs 220 pounds. So even though the size is similar, the weight is very different. And Toro Maximus is chipping away at the, at the floor and now throws Burn over. Ripping up a tire slightly, but that's not enough to stop these uh, these bots. They can run it just fine. It's crash crashes back to the arena floor. Oh, excuse me, burn. Yeah, burn is blue. That's the mnemonic. Burn blue. As, but there crashes a uh, left tire, a uh, really wobbly. That is coming very close to coming very off. Very wobbly. Oh, up, bouncing H off. Hits the, the truss. truss. The top of the arena touching the truss again because they're only 110 pounds apiece. Burn getting thrown back on to his uh, uh, wheels right side up by Turo Maximus. We are well over the halfway point. Oh, a, a massive uppercut throwing Crash inverted, but they can still operate that way, just not as effectively, but they still have that flamethrower. He's back on his right side. Both Crash and Burn absorbing these hits. They're taking a lot of hits, but they are surviving. Look at the wheels on both these spots, but they're still not slowing down as they're in front of us. The flame is on, which you can feel, and now there is smoke coming out of Turo Maximus. Again, you don't need to get a lot of fire on as long as it hits the right thing. That drum is going to be sucking the flames inside of itself. But it can still run. The robot's still working as burn, burning, or crash oh, is burning the floor. Oh, rubber flying through the arena as the fire is on. 30 seconds to go as the smoke begins to build. And there goes Crash oh, into the right on the floor. Stop the fight. The referee has stopped the fight. Time out, time and out. And that's a time, time out to out. move the debris. Time out. The fight is not over, but we're time out to remove the lights from the floor. The crowd going <laughs> wild. <laughs> As the lights come down, we will remove the debris. We have 25 seconds left in the bout. The fight will resume. It is not over. But right now, we're going to take the uh, one of the pit crew is going to go in. There's you see the replay, and this is just part of the action that you saw. And there it is, the light coming down. Four, three, two, one. Fight. And it's off. He, uh, Turo Maximus splitting between the two bots. The flame of burn is on. Toro's drum may have. And there gone. it is. Flame underneath. Flame on both sides. Flame on both sides is being melted you can by see, Crash and Burn. You see a chain out of Toro. The drum's chain has come off. The drum is gone Seven and they're roasting left. Toro. They he's have on to release. fire on underneath. Smoke billowing, but he's still time dangerous. Is up. Can, and that is time. That is time!
It goes to a judge's decision, and what a judge's decision we're going to have. Now remember, it's damage and aggression, and it's, which is going to be hard to call. And it's all in this fight. three minutes of the fight. Remember, all three minutes of the fight, not just those last 25 seconds after we remove the light truss, but all three minutes of the fight are what the judges are going to be looking at. They're going to be looking at damage and aggression, and there was a lot to consider throughout this fight. I looked over while Crash and Burn were doing what they do best and, and saw one of the members of the Brazilian team looking distraught hands <laughs> on head jaw dropped as turo was being pinned and again we were talking about that earlier how as the fight goes on or as the weekend goes on that these bots get more and more damaged and that's just more and more repairs you got to go through the last thing you want is to get flame from both sides there you see the smoke and as it turns out that was the uh weapon that is creating all of that smoke on Toro Maximus because once the fight resumed after the uh, lights were removed, the weapon had stopped entirely. The uh, belt was hanging loose at the end when you saw both Crash and Burn roasting Toro, getting its tires off the floor and using... There's the hit. That's the hit right there that took out the arena lights. Landing right side up, though. And that's what happens when you hit a 110 And here we robot. go. This is the flame on from both sides, just letting him cook. It's a red win. That's Turo Maximus coming away with the win. A judge's decision, 20 to 13. All right, I'm back in the pits with Marco, and wow. You have just not only taken out a light, but Crash and Burn, who notoriously last year took out last rights. How are you feeling after that win? Uh, I'm feeling great that I avenged uh, Ray <laughs> for them. They're tough bots. You, need, you have to choose one, but then the other one gets on your side. It's not easy. It's not easy at all. I was about to say, it looked like you were releasing a little bit of that magic smoke there for a little bit. What do you think was the problem there? Uh, we have two motors that uh, power the drum. One motor smoked. The other one was still good, uh, doing good. Uh, towards the end, the other one uh, was not so good at all. Well, it was still good, and good enough to break a light and send Burn into the roof. So tremendous performance as always. Amazing. Can't wait to see you out there again. Thank now, you. Now, I'm back over here with, unfortunately lost that match, but the magnificent flying duo of Crash and Burn. And you guys have done a tremendous job in that fight, really. Uh, How are you feeling? Well, pretty excited, pretty nervous. I mean, that was maybe one of the second best outcomes we could hope for we hit the lights we hit that we had fire on them uh, i mean we did what we needed to do there's no actual damage to the robots um the wheels got a little torn but that's what they're for yeah uh, i think i'm one of the few people to hit the roof of that arena so i'm happy to be in that club well i love watching you guys fight the double teaming that you always do is so tremendous and i'm not gonna lie it was great watching you roast him right there at the end so thank you guys so much for yet another amazing fight Thank you.